Everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing a medication known as Modafinil. Its brand name is Provigil. Now, before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find the information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We're going to start by talking about how modafinil works. We'll discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient. Then contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe modafinil. Followed by examples of dosing. And then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does modafinil work? Well, unfortunately, the exact mechanism of action is not completely confirmed. We do know that central nervous system activation occurs in discrete brain regions, which suggests a very specific wakefulness-promoting effect. It also noted here that modafinil is a reversible inhibitor of CYP2C19 liver enzyme. So when would we see modafinil prescribed to a patient? So it's typically prescribed for excessive somnolence in these three areas. So one would be in narcolepsy, also in obstructive sleep apnea, as well as in shift work sleep disorder. Now for contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe modafinil, the only contraindication is really if a patient had a hypersensitivity to modafinil or armodafinil or any other component of the formulation. Now for examples of dosing with modafinil, so if a patient was using this medication to treat excessive somnolence in narcolepsy, they would typically use 200 milligrams orally once daily in the morning, and they would have the option to increase the dose up to 400 milligrams. In excessive somnolence in shift work sleep disorder, they would typically use 200 milligrams orally one hour before the start of the work shift. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using modafinil, so I'll go over some of those here now. So dizziness may happen in 5% of patients, while up to 34% of patients may experience a headache. About 1% may experience a rash, and nausea may happen up to 11% of the time. Insomnia comes in at a rate of 3 to 21 percent, and anxiety at a rate of 5 to 21 percent. Seven percent of patients may experience a feeling of nervousness. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be high blood pressure or hypertension. This can happen up to 3 percent of the time. Mania or a hypersensitivity reaction. That's all we're going to talk about today with modafinil or Provigil. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description. You can check it as well. So for today, take care.